Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Nick Frosty, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get custom fave icons for your own website. So if you're wondering what a fave icon is, if you've ever seen any sort of bookmark or anything you've used in your browser, just like any of these here, that little picture that you're going to see uh, on the bookmark itself, that's actually what your fave icon is. Now, it's actually super simple to get that on your website, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So you want to load up whatever web page you're trying to load up and load this fave icon into. Um, so if you're using anything like WordPress, then you can uh, do it automatically through the WordPress uh, platform. But if you're using a custom website, you want to add this single line of text inside of your head tag. So the head tag is just going to be at the very top of the HTML document itself where you have all your HTML code. Pretty straightforward. But you want to add a link tag, have a rel of icon or even shortcut icon. And then you want to have a type of image slash PNG and an href of the actual location of your image itself. Pretty straightforward. So once you load up, so I've got two different examples here, one of them using a larger icon and one of them using a smaller icon because everyone always wants to think and wants to know what the difference is between using two different icon sizes. So I've got this fave icon large and fave icon small. So if you look at the actual differences on the picture itself, so this is the large icon, looks pretty crisp. This is a 512 by 512 image. And on the small is a 50 by 50 pixel image. So you can see that they are a little bit different, but they both look very nice and crisp. And that's what you want to be going for. So super easy to get those shortcut icons or fave icons as they're also known as. So some of the things that you want to know about the images themselves is you want to make sure you're using a perfectly square image and you want to use either a PNG or a GIF format. You can use a JPEG format if you want, but JPEGs don't typically allow for transparency in the image itself. So if you look at any of these other images, if you're using a perfectly square image, just like the XAMPP logo, uh, you don't necessarily need any transparency in the image itself. But if you're using something that isn't quite a square image, maybe you're using a single letter or multiple letters or something like that, or uh, your logo just has some sort of transparency in it, then you probably aren't going to want to use a JPEG. Now, if you use a PNG or a GIF, those all both support transparency in the image uh, codec itself. So that's how to get a super quick and easy fave icon image on your website. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.